Struggling with manufacturing workflows? With Odoo 18, you can track materials, automate production, and deliver orders, all from one integrated system. It's simple, efficient, and designed for you. Let's get started. Welcome to the Odoo 18 home screen. With its recent facelift, Odoo combines a sleek, modern design with its hallmark user-friendly interface. Each icon represents a business function, showcasing Odoo's modular structure. From sales and accounting to inventory and HR, everything's accessible from this central dashboard. All modules come included and can be easily downloaded from the apps module. This might feel like a lot, but admins can control who sees what, making Odoo ideal for growing businesses. Next, let's explore the contacts module. Whether you're managing team members or external partners, Odoo's contacts module keeps everything organized. Here you can manage both individual as well as company contacts. Now, the new button here in the top left corner is seen throughout Odoo and guides you to the next logical step in a workflow. Another thing consistent throughout Odoo is the views. So in the top right corner, we have the choice to toggle between either list view or Kanban view. So we're going to move from Kanban to list view now, and you can toggle back and forth and choose based on your personal preference. Up at the top is our search bar, and this is where we're going to put some refinements in. We can go in and we can filter by companies, individuals, or we could group it by a salesperson, or we could just directly search. Let's go ahead and select Azure Interior to uh, review the contact form. This is one of two forms that will be connected throughout the system, and it's where you can get a holistic view of each individual or company that you work with. When creating a new contact, the first step is to specify whether it's an individual or a company. Now from there, you can go in to fill in details like the contact information. We can even add tags for better organization and filtering. And then below, you'll find tabs for contacts and addresses. This is where you'll add additional contacts, uh, receivable address or shipping um, or invoicing address. Uh, the Sales and Purchase tab is where you can note information based on whether it's a customer or a vendor, so different payment terms, uh, etc., or individuals who are responsible for that account. Under the Accounting tab, this is where you can add specific account information. You could specify invoice follow-ups and more. And then finally, we have the Internal Notes tab. And it's just as it sounds. Um, you can add details such as, you know, this client doesn't receive shipments on, from Saturday to Monday. So really all of this is crucial for managing your relationships without needing any customizations. Now along the top, we have the smart buttons and they provide a 360 degree view of your contacts. So for example, if there's a question about a purchase order, you can quickly drill down into a specific order or even view the associated receipts all from the single screen. The chatter section located here to the right, this allows you to log communications, schedule activities, and really ensure nothing slips through the cracks. Now let's move into the inventory module where we can highlight a few more of Odoo's features that deliver some great value right out of the box. Opening up the inventory module, you're going to be greeted with a dashboard that provides a snapshot of your current operations. And along the top menu, we can easily navigate to different inventory processes, manage products, analyze various reports, and more. Let's go ahead and explore our product form now. Uh, again, you're going to have the same dynamic search capability that we saw in the contacts module. So let's go ahead and navigate to the tabletop now. Opening the product form, here we can define some critical aspects like whether this product can be sold or only a purchased item. Uh, we'll specify the sale price and also a cost. In this case, we can compute it from the bill of materials since it is something we manufacture. And then we'll also determine how we track it in our inventory. The tabletop is a manufactured product. So we can also specify that route on our inventory tab. Now under the accounting tab, I can choose to specify like specific accounts for receivables and payables, but leaving it blank will actually pull that configuration from the product category itself. So we're gonna leave that as is. Now with these settings configured, we're easily able to manage the product's life cycle and ensure all necessary details 
are in place for seamless operations. So if you ever actually need to attach documents or set up reordering rules, smart buttons are gonna make these tasks seamless and really easy to use. It looks like we're low on inventory here. So I have the option of clicking the order button or in this case today, I'm gonna to use the procurement scheduler. In Odoo, the procurement uh, run scheduler keeps inventory and production really aligned. So while it's gonna usually run daily, maybe overnight we can kind of schedule it, uh, today I wanna to manually trigger it. Running the scheduler checks the stock and the demand that we have, and it will actually create the manufacturing order if we need it. So let's check the manufacturing module now to see the new order. From here, we'll confirm and complete the process, showing how smoothly Odoo transitions from planning to production. With the production process complete, let's shift gears and explore how Odoo supports your sales operations. Here, we've opened up to my pipeline, which is going to show all opportunities that I am noted as the salesperson. We can view this again in Kanban view seen here, and that allows us to easily visualize the various opportunities in our sales pipeline and what stage they are in that process. Now we're gonna start our workflow from our leads section. So this is a separation of the sales and the leads really allowing us to keep our sales pipeline clean and focused while still nurturing potential opportunities. So the leads can be generated from integrated emails and completed context forms you might have on your website, or you can manually enter them into the system. In this case, we have a lead that's ready for review. Let's go ahead and open it. Here we can fill out or update the information. Notice the field for the customer. If the customer doesn't exist in the system yet, we can either create a new one directly from this form. Um, and this is convenient as it ensures that we have a record, even if we don't have all the details right away. Now let's assume we've already contacted this lead and determined it's qualified. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is convert it to an opportunity. When we do this, the information from the lead is automatically transferred into our opportunity form. And we can confirm the salesperson team and also add if this is a new customer or it should be linked to an existing contact. Now once converted, we're gonna move it into our pipeline and to the opportunity form where we can continue tracking activities and move the opportunity through the sales stages. We can do this either by clicking on the stage at the top or using the drag and drop function um, from the CRM dashboard. At this point in our conversation with our client or the prospect, we are actually ready to go ahead and create the quotation for them. So highlighting Odoo's fully integrated environment, we're gonna do this directly from the CRM by clicking on the create quotation button. Now that we're in the sales module, we'll start by adding the customer information to our quotation. You'll see that the customer data from the CRM has been automatically populated, saving us time and ensuring consistency. So next, we're gonna go ahead and add our products to the quotation. We can do this either by typing the product name directly in or using the catalog feature, which was introduced in Odoo 17. The catalog feature makes it really easy to browse and select multiple products and add them directly to your quote. Today, I'm gonna to go ahead and use the quotation template though. Uh, quotation templates allow us to standardize the layouts and predefined details like products and prices, making this whole process faster and more consistent. From there, I can actually utilize Odoo's quote calculator to automatically handle my calculations for assembly and delivery. On our optional products tab, we can suggest additional items that the customer might wish to consider. Now with Odoo 18, we've got the quote builder in there and offering an enhanced flexibility, like multiple headers, footers, and dynamic field mapping for a more tailored and professional look to our quotes. Let's go ahead and email this quote out and we can check out the final results with the quote builder's enhancements. This looks great. So let's say the customer loves it and is ready to go ahead and purchase. Confirming this order, we'll see the smart buttons appear, showing that both the manufacturing as well as the delivery orders have been created. 
This time, we're going to go to the shop floor module to process this manufacturing order. In Odoo 18, the shop floor module takes over from the old tablet view, offering a more modern, user-friendly way to manage your production orders. So we can track our tasks and log time directly from here. Let's go ahead and open up that manufacturing order now. Here we can see all of our components as well as the quantity of each that we need to consume, the amount that we have to produce of the tables, um, as well as their status, and all of our components are available. Uh, let's go to the work orders so we can see the various workstations and we are ready to get started with the assembly. So we'll go ahead and click on that and when we're finished tracking we can click the checkbox. We'll move to packaging and we'll utilize the circle this time a little different. So that is completely produced now. We just need to click the produce all button to validate that and close out that manufacturing order. So now we're ready to go ahead and deliver, but let's go back to our sales order real quick. Um, just confirming everything is now in stock, so we are ready to deliver. We're not going to do it through our smart button, we're going to go in through the module here. On our dashboard, we'll go straight to the delivery orders, and we're going to search for the manufacturing order, or you could use the sales reference number. Let's go ahead and drill into our order here and validate our delivery order and move it from our stock to the customer. Awesome. Let's go back to our sales order now and we're going to create our invoice. Here we go. There's our sales order. Clicking into it, we're going to go right over to the create invoice button and we'll do a regular invoice. And this is taking me from one module to the next. So once I look over, I can see that the draft of our invoice looks good. We can see the debits and credits in the journals. Um, the other info tab has additional information, salesperson, teams, etc. cetera. Um, and we can see the smart button back to the sales order. We wanna go ahead and confirm that invoice for the draft and we will print and send it to our customer. So we have a choice of doing it by download, email, or by post. We have integrated it with our email, so we'll go ahead and send it that way. And this is all going to pop up in the chatter as well, kind of shifts things um, on our screen a little bit. So the invoice is over here to the right. And then if we go and look just underneath our window here, we can see that the chatter is moved below. Um, and this will depend on your screen. Once our customers are ready to pay, we can go ahead to our accounting module. Now Odoo makes it really simple to manage invoicing and payments. Um, everything is here in this centralized dashboard. So let's go to our unpaid invoices. And we're going to find our happy days sales order, well invoice. So let's go ahead and get this invoice paid uh, for our customer. We can go up to click the pay button and a pop-up was going to show up and we're going to add our journal information, the payment method, um, the amount, your payment date comes in and your memo actually comes in as well with the invoice. Clicking on submit, it will go into the in payment form and we are all set to go. Now before we wrap things up, I do want to take a chance to show you uh, a little bit more about the accounting module and a quick overview of the dashboard. So you can see below we have all of our journals broken out and if you look at the top of the page you're going to see that the menu breaks things down for us with the dashboard, customers, vendors, um, under the accounting menu we have the ability to review journals, ledgers, etc. And then under the reporting um, drop down we can go into our PL, we can look at comparisons, uh, we could compare previous periods or custom dates, we can look at different months, quarters, or the year. We also have uh, the general ledger, um, we can you know, go ahead and explore any posts and um, find exactly what we're looking for here. So just want to just showcase the various reports that are out of the box in the system. And that's all for us today. I hope you've enjoyed our walkthrough from sales to manufacturing to invoicing workflow and seeing some of the new features Odoo 18 has to offer. If you'd like a more in-depth demo and to explore how Confions could help you successfully implement Odoo for your business, contact us at sales at 
or call 704-215-4622.